Hello, Christian saints. It's Kamala, and I want to give you some words from Ezekiel. The Lord tells us to warn someone, a wicked man, or their iniquity is upon us. So Ezekiel chapter 3, I'm going to start at 13. When I say unto the wicked, Thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speak it, speak it to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. Yet if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked ways, he shall die in the iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. I'm warning the gang stalkers to stop. I do not consent, and I'm saying this before God, Jesus, and everyone else, that I do not consent to your organized harassment. I do not consent to you violating me, um, harassing me, tampering with my mail, coming in my home without permission. I do not give my permission for anyone to enter my home without permission, be they friend, relative, neighbor, anyone without permission. I do not give permission for my family members to be harassed. And I'm saying this before the world to see and the Lord to hear that my non-permission extends to my family also, as do my prayers. God is watching everything. You cannot cover sin with sin. Vengeance belongs to God. Judge not, lest ye be judged. With what measure ye judge, it shall be meted unto you. The peace of God. Don't be the rebellious house. I have my own trial. I could actually use prayers for my own trial. It's been a really, really difficult one. The peace of God to all.